more. Come on, keep it going. How are you? This is, uh, welcome, everybody, to the roast of Kevin Brennan. Please welcome the Pillsbury Doughboy, Mike Buschetti, everybody. Hey, guys, uh, give it up for Kevin. Give it up for Aaron Uberty on the panel yourselves. Keep it going. Come on. Well, I'm at the stand, an A-list club packed with D-list roasters. Where's the bagel boss and Rich Boss when you need them? <laughs> I found out the best way to laundry money is through a Chip Chip as a cartoon or a Kevin Brennan podcast. <laughs> I don't know who... Hold on, Chad! I don't... <laughs> Gino! Gino! How about using your dick to piss and study him out for once? Let me finish. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, anyway, Patty Ross Burroughs claimed to fame when she was married to a closet fruitcake. That's funny. That's Kevin Brennan's claim to fame. Uh, what? The only reason why Barry Ripps is here tonight is to fill the special ed quota. The only reason why... I did agree to do this fucked up train wreck. <laughs> it's because I thought some of Neil Brennan's kiss ass pals from Comedy Central would be here. <laughs> Thank you. Dan Schroeder. Dan Schroeder's on a show called Billions. I hope that's when he has his bank account after Big J throws him under the bus like he did his ex wife. I hope my next joke doesn't turn me into Shane Gillis or Mel Gibson. But here goes. The Jews don't believe in hell. I guess that explains why Aaron Berg looks like the devil. Gino Bisconti came to New York to be a comic. Maybe one day he will be. I'm not gonna mess with Corinne Fish or, or the other girls because they're hot as fuck. Have major daddy issues. If they get drunk enough tonight, maybe I'll get to bang them. <laughs> and now, Mr. Kevin Brennan. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. The only time Brian McCarthy had perfect vision is when he gave Kevin hand jobs. <laughs> Kevin has a beautiful home, a big. Uh, let, me, let me finish. Kevin has a beautiful home, a great wife, and great kids. Oh, wait, that's not him, that's his brother Neil. I know there's a lot of financial difficulty and hardship in the Brennan household. Kevin's brother Neil is one paycheck away from banging Kevin's wife. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> let, let me finish. I first met Kevin back in 1993. He booked me for a show called The Freak Show. The fucked up thing is, he's the one that hosted and produced it. People like different things in life. Kevin likes freaks, idiots, psychos, and morons. That explains his friendship with Barry Ribs. <laughs> Kevin was supposed to be in the movie Little Nicky, but Adam Sandler said he was too angry to play the devil. <laughs> Kevin was supposed to be in the movie Half Baked. Unfortunately, he was in rehab at the time. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? One more. <laughs> One night, Kevin was up late Googling third world countries. That's how he met his wife. <laughs> Kevin, I want to thank you. Uh, that was short. That's, I have nothing else to say. Thank you. Does anybody have a pack of matches we can let him count on the floor? <laughs> Mike, that was very brave.
You're just like everybody, man. We're proud of you for... You're in the big kids class, aren't you? Yes, you are. Don't eat, don't eat your snot. I want to thank all the, all the Diaz's and... Uh, did I forget anybody? Barry? No, I got everybody. And don't tell Yamaniko, she'll fuck me up. Anyway. You guys are the best fans. I don't know how you guys know me. I don't know how you know Barry Ribs or Patty Rosper or Mike Boschetti or Aaron, but you guys are the best fans. Thanks for coming out. God bless. Let's do it again.